embarrassing movie wardrobe malfunctions that nobody notices. Creating a film is an intricate and multifaceted undertaking, with costuming being just one aspect of it. Nevertheless, this component alone requires immense effort from many different people and departments. Customers begin by researching the time period in which the movie takes place to ensure accuracy in their designs. Afterward, the director reviews their work and can add any desired nuances or special effects before presenting them to actors for dressing themselves properly, along with help from a hair and makeup team that styles each actor accordingly. A team of professionals must ensure that the actors look identical in each scene, not to mention editors who vigilantly catch any looked oversights once it's time for post-production. Altogether, there are plenty of chances for movie costume errors to occur. And they happen more often than you realize. Raiders of the Lost Ark A Cairo local is wearing jeans. Steven Spielberg's iconic first Indiana Jones movie is undeniably an undeniable masterpiece, with one glaring exception. When Indy comforts himself with a drink after presumably losing the love of his life, a man dressed in modern clothing walks past. While most people would never notice this costume blunder due to its swiftness and simply because it doesn't take away from the emotional power of the scene itself, locals living in Cairo wouldn't have been wearing jeans and t-shirts back during that era. Glory A Civil War Soldier Sports a Watch Spectacularly, Glory stands as the greatest cinematic portrayal of the Civil War ever. Amazingly enough, in 1863 there were no digital wristwatches. It would be another 53 years before they became part of everyday attire. It would have been a careless mistake on behalf of an extra who failed to stay true to their character identity, and yet this blunder made its way into the finished product, which is nothing short of astonishing. Braveheart Kilts were not yet invented. Mel Gibson's Scottish war epic Braveheart is as memorable as the traditional kilt. However, that particular piece of attire didn't become popular until several centuries later. Although the movie was set in the 13th century, it still included historically accurate depictions of facial paint, which would have been present during that time, even if kilts were absent. Dirty Dancing Short Shorts Were Not Yet Popular Nobody would ever expect to see Baby in the Corner, nor dressed head to toe with historical accuracy. What we do have here is Jennifer Grey as the lead of Dirty Dancing wearing jean shorts, which some teens may have pushed for at the time but weren't widely popular until rock stars like Patti Smith and Debbie Harry hit their stride decades later. The Last Samurai Tom Cruise's armor was antiquated In The Last Samurai, Tom Cruise stars as a retired U.S. officer that engages in an epic battle with the Japanese samurai warriors of the 1870s. The costume department must have thought early 18th century armor looks more awesome and cool on Cruz's character and his companions because they gave him this instead of 19th century samurai attire. The Other Bolin Girl Portman's hair should have been worn back Natalie Portman's portrayal of a noblewoman in 16th century France is commendable, yet her hairdo could use some refining. The hood she wears is accurate for the period. However, it was typically accompanied by a veil and had to be worn with hair pulled back beneath it, as letting one's tresses show publicly would have been deemed highly inappropriate during that era. Schindler's List Women in concentration camps did not shave Oftentimes forgotten, the women in Schindler's List were unapologetically displayed with groomed legs and armpits. Although realistically, females living in concentration camps would never have access to shaving materials. Back to the Future This guitar wasn't invented yet. In one of the most iconic movie scenes in history, Michael J. Fox's character, Marty McFly, dazzles everyone with his rendition of Johnny B. Good using a 1958 ES 345 Gibson guitar. An incredibly cool guitar, despite this being set during 1955, as they're so eager to point out throughout the film. Unfortunately, it was only produced three years later, in 1958. Pirates of the Caribbean The British Navy was not scarlet. Get ready to voyage back through time. The original Pirates of the Caribbean movie is set in the 1720s. 
However, at this point in history, British military uniforms were not adorned with traditional red coats until 1747. Before then, a darker and more expensive color, called Matter Red, was used instead. In fact, it wasn't until later that scarlet colors were kept for officers and sergeants within the army. So come join us on an adventure as we travel two centuries back into a world full of intrigue. Pirates of the Caribbean – Pirates Don't Wear Cowboy Hats This man either arrived at the wrong film set or neglected to wear his intended outfit. He can be seen lurking in the background of a pirate's movie, wearing an old cowboy hat and plain white tee. Unfortunately, mate, this isn't the right place for your cattle wrangling skills, unless you're trying to lasso mermaids. The Empire Strikes Back Han Solo is unshackled and then shackled and wears a jacket. The iconic romantic scene in the second Star Wars film is surprisingly riddled with errors. Han Solo can be seen alternating between being shackled and unshackled, and then suddenly he's wearing his jacket, despite having been shirtless only moments before. This lack of continuity leaves much to be desired, even for the most forgiving viewer. The Wizard of Oz Dorothy's hair is long, then short. Despite its classic status, The Wizard of Oz is not without errors. One particularly glaring one that most viewers spot is Dorothy's hair. It keeps changing lengths. This occurs throughout various scenes and even shots as the movie was never shot in chronological order. In today's world, an actress would need to keep their hair length consistent through all reshoots for continuity purposes. However, this wasn't necessary during filming back then. Django Unchained – Sunglasses Were Not Yet Invented In Quentin Tarantino's masterpiece, Django Unchained, the main character is seen wearing an unconventional, round-shaped pair of sunglasses. Of course, these weren't available in 1858 America. It was done purposely to add a unique style element and further demonstrate Tarantino's signature creative flair. After all, he's renowned for taking bold chances with his artistry and this isn't any different. Pompeii – Too Many Purple Robes In the movie Pompeii, many of the wealthier characters were attired in purple robes, a bold and daring move since it was illegal at this time. Purple had long been reserved for royalty, as it required an expensive process to create its powerful dyes. Nero, then ruler of Rome, declared that only he could wear such colors or those who would face dire consequences, even death. Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets One of these doesn't belong. In the iconic dueling scene in Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, a crew member is slyly hidden among Harry's classmates. The editor cunningly darkened the background to make him blend into his surroundings, however his presence can still be identified if you know where to look. This was done so they wouldn't have to endure reshooting this particular scene. Jurassic Park Grant's hair is combed With its breathtaking and intricate visuals, Jurassic Park still looks spectacular three decades later. Credits must be given to the creators of the incredible animatronic T-Rex, so lifelike, it's almost impossible to spot any slip-ups. Well, almost. In one scene, a lead actor is seen with his hair styled perfectly straight one second before being filmed again with just a little bit more volume. Oops. But hey, if that's their only blunder, then this editing team deserves an a for sure. The Untouchables Kevin Costner's lapels are wrong. Set in the 1930s, it's unmistakable that Kevin Costner's iconic suit from The Untouchables is quintessentially 80s. White lapels were certainly a part of the ensembles during this era. They were much larger and more defined than seen on this ensemble, often spanning half of one's torso with definitive sharp points. Additionally, coats tended to be double-breasted for added sophistication back then as well. The Mummy – Transportation Despite not being an intentional costume mistake, one of the funniest blunders in The Mummy didn't escape viewers' eyes. As our protagonists are surrounded by mummies coming out of the sand, Jonathan and Ardeth spontaneously switch places with Rick in a single shot, something that was actually addressed later on by the director. It turns out that there were some scenes which showed them repositioning themselves, however, due to trimming, these moments had to be removed, creating this seemingly magical teleportation effect. Gladiator – Yet Another Man in Jeans 
It's clear that these extras didn't fully consider the time period in which Indiana Jones was set. Jeans had been invented by then, but denim fabric wasn't even a concept in ancient Rome. It looks like they completely forgot to down trousers altogether. How embarrassing! Gladiator Sport Shorts In the Oscar-winning film Gladiator, viewers have noticed more than just a jeans-wearing extra. During Maximus's fight with his retired champion in the Colosseum battle, he slips and tumbles to the dirt. As Russell Crowe rolls over on screen, we can make out modern black sport shorts under his blue slave clothing. This blooper is an indication of Gladiator's attention to detail, even when making mistakes. Fast and Furious 7 – Fight Scene in a Dress When Michelle Rodriguez and Ronda Rousey had a scene for Furious 7, only one thing was certain – the dress she wore wasn't ready to handle all that non-stop action. Sure enough, her outfit fell apart piece by piece during the fight sequence. Nevertheless, it's clear that Miss Rodriguez is more than primed and prepared for any challenge you throw at her. The Wedding Singer Drew Barrymore's haircut is way too 90s. Even though The Wedding Singer was set in the big hair 80s, it was shot in the 90s, making Drew Barrymore's short, flipped bob clear evidence of this. In fact, her hairstyle would have been considered diametrically opposed to fashionable during the time period that's depicted on screen. Troy Orlando adjusts his tunic. Orlando, you can't fool us. Your head full of curly locks is certainly eye catching, but it didn't prevent us from noticing your shoulder strap falling off and back on between takes. One second, plenty of exposed skin, the next second, covered up again. Were you planning to keep that secret hidden? We think not. Troy Umbrellas The 2004 film Troy received mixed reviews. Despite its considerable box office success, Perhaps if the writers had conducted deeper research into historical accuracy before production began, critics would have been more lenient in their assessments. Speaking of errors, viewers noticed a glaring mistake when Paris and Helen were seen riding through the streets under an umbrella. Umbrellas weren't invented until 800 years after Troy's downfall. It might not seem like much to some people, but it can take away from the overall credibility of a historic piece for those who are knowledgeable about these facts. Jonah Hex – Promiscuous Clothing The 2010 adaptation of DC Comics' Jonah Hex was a major disappointment at the box office. But it wasn't merely costume design that brought about its downfall. Megan Fox's character Lila Black might have been dressed in what we think a prostitute should wear, but her eye-catching corset didn't reflect how women would dress during this time period, even those within the line of work. Almost Famous Futuristic T-shirt While Cameron Crowe's beloved film, Almost Famous, is hard to find fault with, it follows the journey of a young writer on tour with a fictitious band during the 70s, there are still some glaring mistakes that have slipped through. One blunder can be seen in one backstage scene where a Black Sabbath T-shirt is visible. Though this isn't entirely unexpected for the time period, except it wasn't made until 1997, only three years before its big-screen debut. Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade – War Medals If you're a fan of the classic movie Raiders of the Lost Ark, then you may feel it surpasses its sequels. After all, many people debate whether The Last Crusade is truly better. If this defines your opinion on the topic, then there's one mistake in The Last Crusade that might help support your view. During various scenes throughout the film, German officers are seen wearing medals which were only awarded during World War II. But keep in mind that The Last Crusade takes place in 1938, when World War II officially started. This means these uniforms shouldn't have held these medals beforehand and thus highlights just how inaccurately portrayed certain aspects can be for some films. Pearl Harbor – No Stockings Michael Bay's Pearl Harbor, as critic Roger Ebert put it, is a movie with a love triangle of stunning banality instead of adherence to historical accuracy. This accounts for costume mistakes, such as the women in the film often seen bare-legged without stockings, something that was considered highly improper at the time. Proponents have maintained that this can be more historically accurate due to nylon being hard to come by during wartime. However, we're not convinced and will give no credit there. 
Captain America, the first Avenger, hair down. Although some may argue that the Captain America franchise is one of the MCU's strongest, they can't deny it was included in this list of costume-related miscues. Peggy Carter, portrayed by Haley Atwell in the first Avenger, garnered people's ire primarily because her hair was down while on duty. Women serving in armed services should have had their hair up. Pride and Prejudice – Rubber Boots The extraordinary 2005 Pride and Prejudice, based on the iconic Jane Austen novel, features an all-star cast that delivers awe-inspiring performances, particularly from Kieran Knightley, who was nominated for an Oscar. Nonetheless, some aspects of the film were not up to par, specifically the Wellington boots worn by the characters. It's important to note that this footwear style had yet to be invented at a time 40 years after when the movie takes place. Saving Private Ryan – Black Boots In Saving Private Ryan, another glaring boot mishap is on full display. Not only did some of the characters sport light brown boots, while others wore seemingly accurate black jump boots, but it turns out that those weren't available until five years after World War II concluded. This oversight makes it clear that even Hollywood isn't immune to blunders when crafting historical films. The King's Speech – A Kilt Catastrophe Colin Firth's engrossing performance as King George VI, the World War II-era English king, struggling to overcome a speech impediment for his first wartime radio broadcast, won him an Academy Award. Nevertheless, the King's Speech is not without fault. During one scene, he appears wearing an Irish kilt when it should have been of Scottish Balmoral design, an oversight that may have gone unnoticed by some viewers but will certainly be noticed by those with a keen eye for royal fashion. Captain America – The First Avenger – Headset The iconic Kenneth Choi's character, Jim Morita, in the first installment of Captain America is seen sporting a headset that appears far more advanced than what you would expect for 1940s. This futuristic gear only adds to the already fantastical Marvel Cinematic Universe 40s depicted on screen. Gone with the Wind – Electricity In Gone with the Wind, numerous scenes boast electric bulbs and lamps with cords plugged into nearby walls. This inconsistency has plagued fans since its release as the movie is set during pre-electric times, decades before Thomas Edison's revolutionary invention of electricity. Julius Caesar – Bullet Bra In the 1953 film adaptation of Julius Caesar, you'll find a number of female cast members donning iconic 1950s bullet bras. These pointed undergarments were quite trendy during this decade and can easily be spotted on set. However, there's only one minor problem. The movie takes place centuries before these garments had even been invented. Catch Me If You Can – Braces Amy Adams, who went on to win an Oscar for her acting prowess, had a remarkable performance in the 2002 movie Catch Me If You Can. Her character's wardrobe featured one small misstep. She was wearing wired metal braces, even though this style of orthodontic device wasn't available until the 1970s, although traditional braces were around during that time period when the film is set. American Hustle – Rolex Despite being praised for its accurate portrayal in the 1970s, American Hustle's wardrobe did have a major oversight. Louis C.K.'s character, Stoddard Thorson, is seen wearing an oversized Rolex that fits his arrogance perfectly, only it was made nearly four decades after the film's setting. This gaffe makes one wonder if such attention to detail truly covers every aspect of their work or not. Amadeus – Zipper the classic film, 1984's Amadeus, is esteemed for its brilliant script and accurate depiction of life in 18th century Vienna. One fault stands out, though. On closer inspection, you can spot unmistakable zippers adorning some of the leading costumes. Unfortunately, this detail was a glaring anachronism, as modern zipper technology wasn't invented until 1913, 60 years after the action in the movie took place. My Girl Mood Ring My Girl, a 1991 film that undoubtedly brings tears to the eyes of many viewers, contains an obvious historical accuracy. Vanna, Anna Chlumsky, wears a mood ring which serves as an integral component of the plot. 
However, this item wasn't introduced until 1975, two years after the movie's setting in 1973. Despite this glaring miscalculation, My Girl continues to tug at heartstrings and remain relevant for people from all generations. Gangs of New York Firefighters Martin Scorsese's 2002 thriller Gangs of New York, set in the 1800s, raises an interesting point when firefighters are depicted wearing up-to-date firefighting gear and uniform. We can only assume that this was done for safety reasons. Singing in the Rain – Pink Dress From the moment Kathy Selden Debbie Reynolds, made her iconic appearance in a pink dress with a tulle skirt during 1952's Singing in the Rain, it was clear that this look epitomized 1950s fashion. It would have been totally out of place if seen in the 1920s setting where the story set. The Color Purple – Clip-on Tie The next movie in our compilation is a timeless classic. The Color Purple. Although set during 1916, it contains a rather glaring anachronism with Danny Glover's character Albert wearing clip-on ties throughout, something that wasn't even invented until 1928. It goes to show just how far technology has come since then and underscores why this film remains so iconic today. Pretty Woman – Edward's Time One of the most iconic scenes in Pretty Woman is when Vivian Julia Roberts unties Edward's Richard Gere's tie. Unfortunately, in the very next frame, his tie appears tied up again before being undone once more, a clear blunder on the part of this film's continuity manager. Legends of the Fall – Brad's Hair Brad Pitt is a swoon-worthy star in the 1994 classic Legends of the Fall. While his 60s long hair and stubble were definitely popular at that time, this look would not be accepted by men living in 1910 when the film actually takes place. Sadly, it's an example of filmmakers compromising historical accuracy for modern sensibilities. 